Yo, what is up guys, Duke DC here. Welcome to another video. We are over here at DFW Honda, it's just in between Dallas and Fort Worth here in Texas with my man Justin and the most expensive, heaviest, and possibly the coolest motorcycle I've ever seen. So Justin, if you wanna walk us through, what is this? So this is gonna be the new 2019 Goldwing Trike. Um, this is gonna come with the motor trike conversion kit on it. We've got the, uh, the Condor kit on. So it's an 1833 displacement. Biggest changes that they've done on the new Gold Wings is gonna be between your motor and your front suspension. It's running a double wishbone suspension. Um, so really big changes with it. Uh, one of the smaller ones that, uh, that you see is the, in with the motors, they've, they put in four valves um, in each piston. So you've got increased engine performance with it. That's really the big thing. It's gonna be air ride suspension for the back end that is adjustable there on the go. Um, you've got your own little computer in here that will, uh, that when it's turned on, activates that compressor. It's a separate onboard compressor that works. When you boot the systems up, um, it's got all sorts of new features and everything to it. So you've got new Bluetooth integration. You can hook up your phones as well as any Bluetooth um, headsets that you use and helmets to talk with rider passenger or CB radios. That is an option as well that a lot of people get with it. You've also got big addition of Apple CarPlay. So you can plug your phone into the onboard USB plug and play, do all your Apple CarPlay uh, needs. So your maps and, and music and everything like that. Comes standard with navigation that you can update. You can set home location, all sorts of different locations with it as well. Um, your standard speaker, four speaker setup. This one here is the DCT model. So it's a dual clutch transmission. It's gonna be an automatic transmission, seven speed with a uh, low speed reverse, as well as the DCT comes exclusive with a low speed forward. It's a walk speed, goes about three miles an hour um, that you can control here. You'll see there's no clutch there on the, uh, on the left side controls, and there's no shifter there for your foot either. So you'll be, uh, it's, it, it's a fun transition to get into the new riding and everything with. So these, Retail for 45. Um, they start at 45,000 plus tax title license. What we've got them on, we're, we're, uh, we got them on sale for 39,995 right now. Going on at DFW Honda, um, we got them discounted quite a bit, and uh, and all the selections of colors. You've got the new black color for the 2019s, as well as the uh, the blue and the candy ardent red. Now I gotta have you open the coolest compartment I've ever seen on a motorcycle here. Okay. This thing not not only has the top case that we're used to on a lot of adventure and touring motorcycles, which you can see there, pretty spacious. With the motor trike kit, you also get a full-on rear trunk. Cool. Same wheels, disc brakes on both sides. Disc brakes, um, so it is disc brakes there also. Um, you got the big, big tires on the back wheels, um, so you're running 17 inch, inch wheels on the back. We, what, what we recommend is 25 PSI there on the back wheels. Um, that'll be the most comfortable as well as on the air ride suspension running anywhere between 48 and 52 PSI, depending on what your load is and what, uh, what your desired comfort is on, there on the road. Dude, this is epic. All right, so I'm gonna take this for a spin. Cool. By the grace of God, I will not mess it up. <laughs> and what, so what model year is the Goldwing that this was taken from? This is a 19, okay. It, and just for the sake of the video, so Motor Trike is who does this. Yeah. And Motor Trike will do Harleys, they'll do Hondas, they'll potentially do anything. Yeah. Wow, as four well or five kits for Gold Wings. Other. Do I have a key fob or is it like in there somewhere? In there. Sweet. Can I put my weight on that? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> There's yeah. two ways you can start it up. There's the traditional everybody sees, turn this. Yeah. And that turns the motor on. Just hold that down. That boots the system up. And then you hold it down again, that turns the whole thing on. <laughs> and because it's DCT and some people freak out at this, I'm in gear right now. Uh, you're not in gear. Oh, I'm not in gear. Neutral. Okay, good. You have a neutral gear. Right, okay. And as soon as you click drive, hit the D. Oh, it does. So does it automatically go to neutral when you turn it off? Yes. It does? Okay, good. That's good. Because yep. that's like when you have a recluse on a dirt bike and you forget yep. that you're in first gear and then... The, and I've been there. I have to warn people with it every once in a while because they'll they'll get so used to doing that, having switched, they won't realize if they park it on an incline or whatever, yeah. they and they turn it off, they haven't set the parking brake. Right, it'll start going. It'll start rolling backwards or forwards. Wow. You wouldn't want this getting away from you. And this is the air ride. Is this on ride. automatically? Yep. So it's already on. 
it's kind of hard to see that's okay it's, a, it's kind of a dim readout but i should have it set on like 48. i just bumped it to 51. there it is on 52. you'll want to ride 48. yeah it should recalibrate somewhere yeah there's 48. You'll oh that's ride somewhere right around there that'll give you the truest feel because 52 if you have it loaded with gear right yeah 50 but otherwise it's going to be kind of stiff wow it's like being in a spaceship make it very simple yeah this mm. audio and navigation okay this your main menu your oh. set and your select and set is talking about your trip meters you can go down to your range meter all of that stuff your gas gauge that this controls that and your heated grips and heated seats cool this side power your hazards your starter your cruise control Ooh, cruise control and everything with it yep and then the modes here yep so start in eco econ mode and then move my way up and then move your way around it'll it'll ask you to get off the throttle you have yeah to let, let off the throttle to switch modes okay but then you'll be all set you don't have to come to a complete stop or anything. <laughs> all right i think i'm good cool this is exciting adjust your windshield here accordingly and making sure my mirrors are good i'm going to take that first loop and that's it godspeed this is it Oh, this feels good. I was way more concerned about this than I thought I'd be. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my God. Okay, guys. So this is my first time on a trike with one wheel in the front. I have been on a trike in the past with two wheels in the front, the Can-Am Riker. Uh, but this is freaking cool. Motor trike. 2019 Honda Goldwing Edition. First thing I gotta say is obviously you can't lean. Oh my gosh, look at the wishbone suspension. Look at all the work it's doing. I am not feeling any of the bumps. That is so cool. Whoa, okay, econ mode clearly for economy. But we, we are a touring mode family. This is so neat. Oh my God. This is one of, the, one of the coolest things I've ever ridden. Clearly the most expensive. I am, I am like, from an engineering perspective, astonished by how flipping cool the wishbone suspension is on the front there. It is soaking up the bumps. It has air ride in the rear. And then of course, Justin broke down everything. This wasn't a bike I was planning to take out today. So you have to pardon my lack of information um, Justin cleared it all up and he's, that was awesome. Uh, I'm just here to experience this. It is so cool. Way more comfortable in my opinion than the ones that have two wheels in the front. Like the, the Can-Ams, the Rikers, the Spiders. I prefer the two wheels in the rear. Oh my god. Oh, oh dear god. <laughs> it's just, what the heck? Okay, hold on. Let's go to sport mode. <laughs> I am like a child. I might actually just be a child. Holy Jesus. What? Can I automatically shift up whenever I'm... Oh, cool. But then does it go back to auto mode? Only time will tell, right? Oh, so you can obviously... I've been on a DCT Honda before. I know how this works. I am, however, awestruck by its awesomeness. I'm only taking it on the first uh, ride around because this bike costs more money than I have. And I can't afford it. I just couldn't afford it if I crashed it. I know that's what insurance is for. Oh! cool telelever or wishbone suspension you can hear the tires hitting in the back because they're the same kind of like they're just road going tires what oh my god you could ride this for days this is the most comfortable seat i've ever sat in i have a lazy boy recliner at home that i use frequently when i'm playing battlefield on xbox with my dad which is one of my coolest favorite hobbies. And yet, it is not as comfortable as this thing. Ah. Okay, I want to wait a second and just clear up some space here. Oh, 
Oh, this will haul. This will haul ass. 1,830, what, 3cc in flat six? Oh, my God. <laughs> it sounds so good. What is happening? Let's go around. Y'all, crazy nice turn radius too. Oh my God, that's the first thing I would have thought would have been gone. Pull it right in front, because that's where it gets to go. This is awesome, guys. Subscribe, like, check out Justin at DFW Honda. Thank you to Rolic. this is awesome. Holy mother of balls. Oh, I keep forgetting that that just exists. That is insane. What the heck, man? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I ended in sport mode and uh, it hauls ass. Yes, it does. It and it's it feels way sturdier than the ones that have two wheels in the front. Uh -huh. I felt a lot more comfortable just goosing it. The rear end felt good. You can hear like the tire slapping that you would normally hear in a car if you were like windows open or in some sort of convertible, yep. which is cool. This is epic to just stare at. It's, it's, it's yeah. Yeah, I mean it. It's, it's hard to feel your eyes off. Of it. it was doing this just the whole time. It felt nothing. You don't feel nada. Bad. Yeah. These are cool. Right. I like them. Yeah. And then just compartments and cubbies and luggage and heated everything and radios and how do you put it in reverse? Just well, out of I'll, curiosity. I'll actually walk you through so you can do it. Yeah. So turn the turn the whole bike on. There you go. So it's in reverse or it's in neutral right now. Yeah. So hold that brake. Okay. Click that button. Oh, this is the only one I didn't press. And now that's put in there so you can use the, the plus yeah. to go forward and use the minus to go back. And the forward is the slow forward control for yeah, tight situations. Out, go for it. Oh. So three miles an hour. <laughs> that is cool. Right? Yeah. And then all you gotta do is you come to a stop, hold the brake, and, uh, and click the same button here. Oh, same button to. Put it back in neutral, it and in drive, theoretically. It hauls ass. Yes, it does. It freaking moves, man. It's easy to ride. Yep. E I mean, I was, I was concerned just because of its size, its weight, and its That's price. Well, I just wanted to make sure I was comfortable with it. Yeah. Super easy to ride. 